At a small health center on the outskirts of Cameroon's capital Yaoundé, a historic moment in the fight against malaria. A small serum that can save from the deadly parasite is being administered for the first time to baby Daniela. Millions have died of malaria, most are African children. These nurses and doctors have seen parents helpless in the face of their children suffering, watching them unable to breathe, in distress with a high fever, eventually leading to an agonizing death. Now they can save lives, thanks to the new anti-malaria vaccine program being rolled out by Cameroon's health services. We are a district with a fairly high prevalence. It should also be remembered that the vaccine complements existing measures, including impregnated mosquito nets and environmental sanitation. Cameroon is offering the RTSS anti-malaria vaccine free of charge to all infants up to the age of six months old. It took 50 years of scientific research to develop the vaccine. The challenge has been the mutating nature of the malaria parasite. Part of the breakthrough came from a tree found in Chile. Its substance strengthens intensity of the immune response in the vaccine. It is a disease that is very difficult because it is transmitted by a parasite with a life cycle that's very complicated. We have a vaccine which has demonstrated effectiveness and safety. We have really studied and tested it to be sure there's no side effects that would cause problems. Following the COVID pandemic, unfounded fear of the new malaria vaccine seems to be spreading faster than its actual benefits. The challenge for health workers is to convince parents like Audrey Stella that the new vaccine is safe for their children. If it was talked about everywhere, maybe in the media or in communities, and people are informed, then I would be more prepared to vaccinate. Right now, I feel a little uncomfortable and unsure. The UN says that every two minutes, a child dies of malaria. With this new vaccine rollout, this is about to change. The small serum is a big victory in the fight against a parasite, offering the possibility of saving millions of lives across the world. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.